if you don't need any more. Well, I guess he hasn't uh, given a chance to start in a while, but he, I played for him before, and uh, he knows I'm probably one of the best women he ever seen. It's part of my job, you know, physically, I'm you know, one of the few guys that can take the, the views mentally and physically to start. Two more players in that That's why you brought me here. You know, I'm the guy that you can always have in the back of his mind to the back. When you found out Strasburg couldn't go, did you go to them at all and say, I want the ball, or did they come to you first? No, no, it came to me, and I'm glad that I always the first uh, name that comes to his mind. You always want to be the guy you boss can rely on. I know we have a young uh, starting rotation here in South Sudan, and they want to see how those guys uh, will develop, how to learn in the future big leagues. And hopefully we can have a, a starting rotation that can dominate and, and have a tradition of winning. And hopefully in the next couple of years we can have a starting rotation of the great future. And that, that's what happened. Well, the fact that it happened right before the game, as opposed to maybe had a little time to think about it a little bit, did that maybe give you an edge that you still get to get in and do it? No, no. I, um, I've been in that situation before. And my own mentality is to, you know, to know I'm a long reliever doing a relief on the first inning. You know, I don't go out there sitting on the spot. I just do a long reliever on the first inning. Watch him out there. It looked like you had a little bit of a six strike outside. Well, no, I just tried to uh, give the people what they came to see. You know? <laughs> they came to see a 20 year old end up having an almost 40. And, you know, they, they were detecting 10 strikeouts in the bar, but I threw up for 10. <laughs> I try to give them the best I could, uh, you know, stay in the game, make the guys to swing the battle because I knew that I was leaving it on the pitch. So I, wa I wanted to be there at home. You said you were done that uh, I remember one time in Diamondback, 2001, uh, I think Chile had a throw back. They came to me like five minutes before the game and said, can you just guard it? I always believe that my mind is being ready since I left my country 22 years ago. And physically, it might be a little more demanding, but mentally, this business is really ready to go. That's true. Tonight was my or first that, that night with Arizona. Oh, with Arizona, I don't remember, though. I, I, I think we did good. Okay. I mean, we had a very good team. We ended up winning the World Series, but that specific night, I believe I, I last six. They took me out because I was supposed to release the day after that. We just went home to just basically wanted to go out there and just play my game and just try to make it happen and uh, basically made it happen. See the teacher to do what he did. Uh, oh yeah, man, I mean, it's huge, you know, but for us to get up one night and it takes a lot of pressure off the guys. Uh, they can get into their game and uh, they can find a group from there. Sorry, they already asked, just did you try to set the tone early? That's what my job is, set the tone. When you guys are... You get that kind of news five minutes before you game time. What's your thought? Oh, you got to still focus on the game, uh, even though we lost one of our horses. Uh, you know, it's just one of the things where we, we're all professionals, and uh, we got to be able to handle a little bit of adversity, and, uh, and we definitely handle it tonight. Uh, it wasn't ready to hit. It just uh, one of those days, you know, when uh, you know a normal pitcher have some. Uh, uh, some kindness and uh, you better lose and that's what happens to him. When did you realize something was wrong? Huh? When did you uh, realize something was wrong? I mean, when you're throwing the bullpen. When you're throwing the bullpen, he wasn't feeling right. What did you see? Huh? What did you see from him? I didn't see anything. He just, uh, he was, he, he felt a little bit uncomfortable. He just feel that he wasn't feeling the way he feels. So to you, he looked normal until he said that? Huh? He looked normal to you until he said that? No, he didn't tell me anything. Uh, so he didn't look right? No, he wasn't look the way that I was saying when I catch him in the book. How, how far into this is this book? Yeah. Like huh? how, how long was he throwing it? I don't remember. When you look at what happened after that, though, with the way Mickey came in and mm -hmm. did what he did, uh, with Batista, with what he did. Yeah, after that, you know, and the A came out and uh, got tremendous. You know, you gotta turn the hat to him. He did pretty good. You know, he, you know, be able to, uh, you know, to get the call 10 minutes before the game and and, and run to the bullpen pretty much and, uh, and warm, you know, and warm up pretty much a couple of minutes and, and, and go to the game and, 
and, and finish by strong enemy to us is uh, you know, it's pretty good. So there's a lot of bad guys that have been in the in, in the huh? So there's a lot of bad guys that have been in the game 20 years or so. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he's a veteran guy, and I know what he's doing. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.